To access the settings, click on the gear option in the top menu. Let's start with business information. In order to promote your items through Google Merchant Center, either through paid shopping or the free ads, you need to in enter your business information. So you need to enter a display name, address, phone number, and also details for customer service. You need to have verified your website address. That is done by entering the URL here, and then you have to add a little bit of code to your website. And optionally, you can also add branding information, which is used in certain types of ads. It's always a good idea to give customers as much information about the purchase before they click through to your site. If they know, for example, what the shipping and return rates are before they get there, they will be more likely to convert. You can set the delivery and returns information under settings and then delivery and returns. To add a service, click the add delivery service button. Give the service a name, so test, and then specify what countries it will apply to. So I'm going to select the United Kingdom and a currency and where you will be delivering to. In this case, the only option is customer's address, and then click next. You just set a cutoff time. So let's take nine o'clock in the morning. A time zone, I'm just going to select a time zone. And then your delivery time, your order handling time, and your transit time. So I'm going to say between one and five days for each. And then Monday to Sunday. Now there's a number of different ways for calculating the delivery cost. One is, for example, on your website, you'll have free delivery of a certain amount. Secondly, free delivery for all items. Third is a range base. So you have a price based on a certain order value. So you could say £10 up to £50 and then £20 up to 100 etc. Flat rate, that's just a, a flat rate fee for everything. Or if you have a camera which integrates with Google Shopping, you can get the information straight from them. Now, if you want to do something more complicated by size and weight, you need to switch to advanced settings. And here you will add a rule, let's call it test one. And then you add a delivery rate table. So I'm going to add the dimension and that's going to be weight in kilos. And you would have a, a weight from zero to one kilo. If you want to add another row, click up here to plus row and you could say that's up to one kilo. So you could say for one to two kilos and then add another rate and then add another row and you could say up to three kilos, four kilos even, and then 30 pounds. And then you need to add a catch all rate. So that's four kilos and heavier. Let's do 40 pounds for that. And then once you're done, you can click continue. And there you'll see a rate which is applied to all your products in your matching region. Now, if you're looking to do weight based shipping pricing, you need to ensure that you submit the weight in the product feed. To add returns information to your Merchant Central account, click on the returns option here under settings and delivering returns. And you need to set the policy by country. So here I've used a basket policy for lots of different countries. So let's just do click on default policy. And you can see selected the countries, a link to the website where it has the policy details and the number of days. Data which is imported into Google Merchant Center it supports two programs, free listings and shopping ads. You need to make sure that they're both set up separately. So if we go to shopping ads setup, there's a number of settings which need to be set up before this will work. First is you need to set up your business information. You need to set up whether your website contains adult content or not. Also, you need to confirm that you accepted the program policies. But free listing setup, if you click on free listings, again, you need to have provided business information and reviewed the program policies and also have a payments page set. Account access can be specified under account access in the settings menu. So here you can add different users who have access to this account. In Google, there's the option to allow Google to automatically improve your product data. This is set under settings and then automatic improvements. The two options are automatic updates and image improvements. This is if it finds, if Google finds different information which is on your website to what's in your feed, you can specify that it will use the information from your website. So update prices, update availability and update condition. Automatic image improvements. It can improve the things like removing promotional overlays and images with two, which are too small in order to make sure that your products don't get disqualified. Let's have a look at how this information is displayed. We've done a search for Llama ride on here. If we put our mouse over this advert, you can see at the bottom here, it's got the 30 day return policy that comes from directly within the Google Merchant Center account. If we click on the shopping tab, we can see here again, it says free delivery for this product that comes from Google Merchant Center. Also, if we go to the free shopping listings at the bottom, 
and we'll click on compare prices from five shops. The information with the item price and then the shipping price and this free returns information is it was all taken from Google Merchant Center.